Iris is widespread across the U.S., infecting an estimated 26 million Americans. No, not the coronavirus, the seasonal flu. The National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease predicts this year's virus is on track to be as severe as the 2017-2018 flu season, which was the deadliest in more than four decades. Here in Winnebago County, it took the life of a child. The first flu-related pediatric death the county has seen in a decade. 13 News reporter Mary Sugden takes a closer look at how this season compares to others and what local health advocates want the public to know. Fever, body aches, sore throat, chills, all common symptoms of influenza and something the CDC estimates anywhere from 29 to 40 million people have come down with this year. I wouldn't uh, take my eyes off the clear and present danger that's amongst us right now, which is, is the seasonal flu. In Winnebago County, this year's virus unleashed heartbreaking loss. It's with sadness um, that we report our first pediatric influenza associated death uh, for Winnebago County. Something that hasn't happened here in years. For us, um, we have not had a pediatric death in 10 years, so that is always concerning in a population. Um, any death associated with a communicable disease is always a difficult one. The CDC reported as of February 15th, 105 children had died across the country, which at that point in the year was more than the country had seen in a decade. Well, we're, we're really at the, the peak of the season now. What's different this year? Influenza B flipped the script and came on strong early, according to the CDC, predominantly impacting children and young adults. In Winnebago County, during the peak week, there were a total of 821 flu cases. Compare that to the peak week of 2019, only 442 cases were reported. This map from the CDC shows the spreading of the flu throughout the season. As you can see, influenza-like illness becomes high in Illinois starting the week of December 22nd, 2019, and continues on. In the most recent week of CDC data, all but nine states have a high level of patients reporting symptoms. It's hard to, to go a day in the news cycle without hearing something about the novel coronavirus COVID-19. But I'd like to remind everybody, you know, that has infected tens of thousands of people, primarily in China, and, you know, in the teens or 20s of Americans. Influenza has infected 26 million Americans this year. It's been responsible for almost 300,000 hospitalizations and probably 15,000 deaths in this country. Dr. Thomas Schiller believes in general, the public hears about the virus every year and has become immune to it. The standard seasonal influenza is a huge problem. Uh, that I don't think we take seriously enough. Across the board, health experts recommend the best way to take the flu seriously, get a flu shot every year. Dr. Schiller says even if the vaccine isn't the exact strain of the virus, it may help down the road. There's going to be some immunologic memory uh, for a lot longer than that, and I'm hopeful that if they miss the exact flu this year, with the shot, maybe some previous immunization that I got was, was going to cover it. The CDC says this year's flu shot reduced doctor visits 45% overall and 55% in children. Even if you contract the illness having been vaccinated, your chances of developing secondary complications decrease. So for anyone six months or older, the message from health experts in our region, it's never too late to get your vaccine. We often say protect yourself and protect others. For your 13 Weather Authority, Mary Sugden, 13 good, News. Along with getting the flu shot, experts recommend a hand washing full 20 seconds with soap and water to kill germs. If you can't do that, use hand sanitizer and then wait roughly four minutes after that. That is when your hands will be fully clean. If you have the flu and are not sure if you can return to work or school, doctors say wait until you are fever free for at least 24